you know, women are famously avoidant of sex after a baby, not because they want to be, but because pain has come into the picture and they didn't really understand how, where that pain came from. What's a good first step for someone who's feeling that way, for a woman who's feeling she knows that she's sexually avoidant, she knows that there's some fear there? My uh, recommendation is self-care. Self-care having to do with uh, self-massage, perineal massage, mm -hmm. using castor oil, even passively or actively doing castor oil packing on the pelvic floor, which you can learn to do on any YouTube. It's easy and accessible. It's not expensive. Self-massage is another thing that people can do or going to see a professional, a sexological body worker, a physical therapist, potentially a nurse midwife. There are people who have scope of practice to touch the pelvic floor who know how to do these things, who know how to give perineal massage in the weeks and months following the birth of a child uh, once the tissues have healed completely in order to set the stage for less scar tissue rather than more scar tissue to form. Yes. And I think it's worth it to say that we're both in favor of a new model of women's health care. So it's not yes. gonna it's not gonna <laughs> sound it's gonna sound a little far out for some people because it's not something that's um, done routinely. What women get is a six month six week doctor checkup or six week midwife mm -hmm. visit. Mm -hmm. And then it's just sometimes my clients report that it's like five to ten seconds where it's just like mm -hmm. a quick in, a quick out. And I think both of us feel like women deserve and need a little bit more of a thorough checkout in terms of how those muscles are working, what yes. is the state of scar tissue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they need to understand that pain is not normal past a certain point. Mm -hmm. And to have the confidence and the encouragement to describe what's happening sexually with their care provider, mm. their health care provider, to at least, it's up to the health care providers to create comfort in that conversation with their patients and their clients.